I found myself sitting up watching that game. Um, See, that's when you rooted for us because we actually were beating your arch rival. Actually, to be honest with you, I did not, Jay. Oh. I, I swear to you, I found myself kind of hating on the Nets. What? I thought you don't. I thought you don't root for. I thought the Clippers are the one team in LA. But I, you do but not I root found. For. I just found myself hating on the Nets because it's all this momentum about the Nets being the team in the big three that could pop the Lakers. You know, so I found myself. In the end, like, man, they shouldn't even win. But they they played well. Kyrie, man, I meant to text yeah. you, but it was so late. I didn't want to text you and Be ask different. you, were you like that? Because in my mind, no. I visual No, but in my mind, Jay, I'm serious. I just visualize you like that. Because he was hit rocks, dropping buckets from deep, too. And it was hitting the bottom of the net. He's just so – like, he – you know, everybody always asks me, like, uh, who's that one player that Kyrie reminds you of? He, he's like a um, – He's like a three-point ur- urban, three-point, <laughs> three-point zero version of Rod Strickland, man. Like, but a better shooter. You know what I mean? He, he's so herky jerky with man, it. I don't think he makes it dance. I watched it from beginning to end. I don't think I seen him miss, although he did miss some shots. But I, it was just like it was everything was wet. I was like, and then KD too. KD got to I got we got to take him to eat though. I can't <laughs> stop, man. I seriously though. <laughs> They call him the Slim Reaper, man. Man, I mean, he's the I... Slim Reaper. I didn't see a muscle in them arms. You know, I, I was looking. I was like, ain't no way in the world. I, <laughs> I can't with you this morning, I man. love Katie. Katie, one of my favorite players, Zubin. But you talk about skin and bones. God. And Zubin, I got to tell you, the, the little people last night, we had a big game. Fred Van Vliet went for 54 points, 11 threes. It was incredible to watch. It was a record-setting performance. We'll talk about that in just under a half hour. It truly was a record-setting moment in NBA history. Uh, Kyrie at 39. It was the Nets over the Clippers, for those that don't know, 124-120. And KD so long, man, and fluid and smooth. Like, it's just, I don't understand how people don't embrace his game to a whole nother level. Like, you know, you know how you talk about – Patrick Mahomes being the greatest, or Aaron Rodgers being the greatest pass catcher, I mean, thrower of the football. Like, KD's got to be, like, the greatest some, at something because he's just crazy. Like, it's just effortless. Well, Key, I'll tell you, I've never seen a, a comeback story like this. I mean, off a of blown Achilles, there's there's a history of people that just never come back from that. And, and, when, like you it, watch it, him, mm. and when you watch him, Jay, run up and down the floor, it doesn't even look like a resemble that – at all whatsoever that he had an injury because guys you know how people pick their way through they yeah. kind of they they're playing but you could tell like they're not sure mm. man this dude ran the ran the floor I, it was a turnover he ran the floor to catch up to try to block it and i'm sitting there going he ain't got no problem with his Achilles. he don't care it was like three strides down the whole floor three strides That's- down the whole floor <laughs> exactly i mean he's just I love him, though, man. I've always <laughs> loved him. When I first met him when he was at Texas and he was towering over me, the first thing I thought, man, I put my elbow through that dude's chest. But, <laughs> you know, he's legit oh, he's so as that competitive. Come. No, he's so because competitive. I love it's it. not that I'm competitive. I'm just looking at him because he was so tall, you know, and that's the first time I've seen somebody that tall and that slim that puts in work the way KD has done. I mean, it's just... The closing Crazy. line, the closing line on that game was actually Clippers minus one point five. So if mm. you had the net, LeBron barely touched him. And that's it, all, that's if anything, to you, it looked like Mark pushed him in the back. So when you hit him right in that lower back area, you do that. Now you can easily make somebody lose control. I mean, that is what you're taught to do if you're a good receiver. When you go to break down, if I hit you right in that side, if I just barely on that hip do that. You're going to be able – you're going to fly the other way. I just – I don't know. Maybe he wanted LeBron to get it just – and then it looked like he got killed, K-I-L-T, while he was on the floor. And, Keith, the best part about it, he then falls, he gets up a little bit later, and then he gets a flagrant one because he elbows Anthony Davis in the face on a swipe through. So, it's like, hey, there's a little bit of payback from Joel Embiid as well. It all works itself out. Lakers Celtics, by the way, I'm sure Jay knows this. He's all over the NBA coverage here for us at what ABC. What makes you think I'm not over it? Well, I'm just saying he's on ABC well, ESPN. Well, um, well. Uh. <laughs> uh, Saturday night, Lakers Celtics. I mean, obviously, it's a since the Lakers won the championship last year and then finally tied Boston at 17. Obviously, everybody knows about the great rivalry. Saturday night, primetime, Lakers Celtics. How about that? That'll be good. 
that, that'll be a good game. I think the Celtics will give them a challenge, and, you know, it'll be fun to see. It'll be fun to see them go up against each other, but I think the Lakers will have too much, you know, it's too much manpower. Well, Jalen Jalen Brown is a guy. He'll guard LeBron James. And, you know, Zubin, it's so funny on, on in the basketball sphere, everybody keeps trying to say, well, Jason Tatum is playing just like Kobe because they worked out. And that is so wrong from reality. Like, Jason Tatum, in his second year, work, before his second year, worked out with Kobe and then tried to implement a lot of Kobe's, like, MVP-like moments into his game and took a ton of force twos. And, and, and really, efficiency-wise, dropped off the map. His third year, he came back into the league. Last year, when he really exploded, was he added, like, a step back to his game and actually started shooting way more threes and attacking the rim more and added bulk. So his game is drastically different than Kobe's. I just don't like how people always try to blend those two together because they worked out for a little while. Yeah, but you know how it goes. It, it, he, he, it, around the NBA as a whole, though, Jay, there's a lot of Kobe's game in a lot of different players just little things uh, from shot selection and mannerisms and shooting the ball so you know you worked out with if I worked out with Jay Will back in when you were in college and playing for the Bulls and I worked out with you first and they said oh he worked out with Jay Will see man he got that mad crossover that's just you know how I go it's part of it I'm so we'll you. see. It's a 72-game NBA season. We'll see what happens with the second half. Schedule comes out. Jay's advocating to not have an all-star game. Mid-season break around March 5 through 10. Key, want to get your thoughts on that. Jay adamantly opposed just Atlanta, throngs of people. Well, you need your biggest stars to be present. It's a lot of stuff throngs. going on in Atlanta. <laughs> throngs. That's true. It's a lot of, uh, how do I want to say it, distractions okay. in Atlanta on top of health risk. Mm-hmm. Um but is it is it an All Star game in a bubble, or is it just not going to be in a bubble? Like, how are they going to do it, Jay? If they do it, well, I'm, I'm sure there would be some. I mean, a lot of security there. Obviously, they would need security. But I mean, a bubble didn't really stop people from doing what they wanted to do the last time. I mean, you've had so many games postponed. But they really Kitty. didn't. But let's be fair, though, Jay. In all honesty, it really wasn't. It wasn't. The bubble in Orlando wasn't really like that, right? I mean, you had you had what's his face? He <laughs> he was trying to holler at the employee inside the bubble. And yeah. then who somebody left the bubble to go to a funeral but didn't and made a decision to make a pit stop beforehand. But it wasn't like sure. a mad rush of people leaving the bubble. I know, Key, but that that those were the playoffs. That's the playoffs. I'm you know, you go through a long year like you did last year, and now you add on this year and the stresses from this year and traveling, and these guys get like six or seven days off. That's that's a difference. All, you know what all star games are like, Key? No, no, like I, Pro I, Bowls. You know, no, I, mean, I know, you go, but you're going, go going to work. But are they? They're not allowing fans in. It would just be a a game between the two teams, right? 